Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wednesday here on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your host, Eric, and this week we are talking about techno-pagans. Now, some of you have heard this term before, techno-pagans. You know that it's the pagans who are most prevalently on the internet, and the uh, the ethereal electronic media of various types. I have no problem with any anyone who wants to make technology part of their path and their practice and their understanding and their learning and everything else. I think it's a fantastic resource having the internet. Oh my gods, the internet! There is so much information on the internet that how could you possibly pull yourself away? This is how. You pull yourself away by choosing to. Now, I don't know if you guys have watched Annie's video from Monday. Um, if you haven't, stop here. Seriously, stop right now. Go back, watch her video. It's fantastic. As of right now, it's Tuesday evening. I haven't had a chance to watch Kara's video yet. But I bet you it's awesome too. Anyway, so have you come back after watching that? You already watched me spiel before? Good. Let's get on to the part where I talk to you guys about whether or not it is appropriate as a pagan or if it is possible to be a an earthbound pagan and nature-based, nature-centric, whatever term you want to use, they're all out there. Whether or not that's possible or appropriate to go out and buy the newest gadgets and the newest techie stuff and using all all of the all of the tech you can get your hands on to, you know, kind of integrate into your life. Well, here's my take on it. I believe that technology is an awesome thing. And when I say awesome, I don't mean, oh yeah, that's really cool. I mean the in intentional initial meaning of the word, which is to create and inspire awe. Which is that, how oh, does that work? I have no idea how most technology works. I'm okay with that, because I'm, a, I'm, I'm not very sciencey. However, I feel that one, if our ancestors had this kind of technology, their lives would have simply been more like ours. If we're trying to live our lives more like our ancestors, then we need to limit the actual time that we use said technology. I'm all for technology. And I, I like using it. I like being here on YouTube to explain you to you guys what my opinion on things like this and other various topics are. I think it's awesome. I think it's a great resource. I think it's a fantastic way to reach an audience or at least a group of people that you would previously not have ever in your entire life had any interaction with. And I love to see you guys' comments and I love to see that you guys are watching the videos. I'm, I'm one of those terrible people who checks every day to see how many views my videos get because it makes me feel good that people have at least heard me whether they were listening or not at least they heard me so I love the fact that technology connects us I also think that in in everything that Annie was saying on Monday is is true if you're not taking time for you time for you to reflect and stop and think about things and ponder and disconnect not only with society, but with the idea of expecting someone to contact you, you're, you're skipping out on something that is absolutely important to us as individual human beings. We do need to be social animals, and we are social animals, which is why technology is absolutely fantastic for that. There is something to be said about having the ability to connect with someone at a moment's notice. However, I do believe you have to take time for yourself. Turn off the phone, put it away, 15 minutes. I'm not even saying 15 minutes a day, 15 minutes a week. 
if you if you can't do 15 minutes a week for yourself to to get all introspective and you know think about yourself for a little while and your place you can't really grasp what what am I trying the, the way I'm trying to say this is if you don't take time to realize who you are and where you belong and what surrounds you you've got your face in a screen all day long every day you do lose not only social cues and abilities and 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 things like that but you also you also oftentimes fail to see the fantastic awesomeness of nature around you if all you're doing is driving through it and not looking at it you're going to you're going to regret that at some point 15 minutes a week start there if you can't take 15 minutes to go outside and go it's really damn cold out here unless you're in the southern southern hemisphere in which case right now you're wandering outside going well it's starting to warm up that's good if you can't take 15 minutes a week, perhaps you should consider getting rid of some of your tech. I don't know about you guys, but I really feel that occasionally I need to not be reached. I, not, I need to not be reachable. If you show up at my house and I'm in the backyard doing ritual, I'm not going to answer my door. My cell phone is turned off, the phone is off the hook, the computer is unplugged, and the doors are locked. I'm just saying. So, use of technology and balance between having the tech and the newest gadgets and all the fun stuff and everything else, and being a nature-based pagan, totally possible. But you have to be aware of it, and you have to make the choice. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I will get to them as soon as I can and as often as possible. Thanks for watching, everybody, and of course, until next time, Odin be with you. The voice inside of your head is the spirit of the land. So come and walk the ancient way.